back to Hack It Out. We've got another reaction. Awesome. Uh, this is going to be to the second video of this Mass Effect Andromeda mm -hmm. gameplay series they're doing. This was this one is over the character profiles and like the skills and oh, okay. the squad, uh, like just how all the you know choosing between biotic and all that stuff works. Oh, okay. yeah. You'll notice on this one you get to um, do things of each one. You don't have to be locked into like a soldier or biotic mm. or tech right from the beginning. How, how many, well, you know, before we start, how many different characters are there, like playable characters? Uh, well, I mean, like playable, there's just the main character. Oh, so it's only just one, you can't switch between characters? No, I mean, it's just like how the, the trilogy was. You oh, okay. can either play as a male or female, but, oh, gotcha. so you know, the original the trilogy, it was just Shepard, and you're either a female version or a mm. male version, whereas this game... It's actually a set of twins, like a well, I think they're twins, brother and sister. Oh, okay. So if you play the female, you're playing the sister. So they're actually two independent characters, which is oh, that's cool. that's kind, kind of neat. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. So if you play, I mean, I'm I'm gonna play the male. Uh, their their last name is Ryder, and that's Scott Ryder and Sarah Ryder. Mm. And so I'll play as Scott Ryder. So then like Sarah's gonna be, she'll be in the game as well, so you can interact with oh, her. Oh, that's stuff. cool. So part of the squad. I, I don't think they're actually a squad mate that like goes with you on stuff. Oh, okay. I think they're kind of doing their own thing, but hmm. uh, they're in the game, though, so you actually have interactions with. Oh, that's cool. Whereas in the original trilogy, I mean, if you're playing as male Shepard, you don't interact with the female Shepard. No, there's that definitely is you. the only Shepard in the <laughs> yeah, game. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, all right, so let's uh, see. Again, I've seen this already, but Derek I hasn't seen, seen it yet, so uh, we'll get started and let Derek see these. Do it. All right. One, two, three. Well, three, two, one. Welcome back to the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay series. In this video, we will take a look at profiles, favorites, and your squad. Favorites are the things I like. As you level up in Mass Effect Andromeda, that definitely looks like Mass Effect. To dozens yeah. of skills and over 300 skill upgrades. It's very You're Mass Effect. Any skill without being limited to a class. Mass Effect. Allows you to create a pathfinder that is totally suited. Yeah, so you're to not you limited to a specific class, which is awesome. As we discovered last time, there are three main types of skills in the game: combat, tech. That's cool. And biotic. As you unlock skills over the course of the game, you'll also start gaining access to profiles. There are seven types. Yes, remember all Let's those. Let's take a look at two of them. Mm -hmm. The adept and the You had to form. choose that from the beginning of the game yeah, and you're locked in. Profile all you can be. perfect for players yeah. who want to specialize Whereas in you don't have to. So you can as just you change them as you go? Or? Mm -hmm. The adept profile oh, awesome. gives you can, bonuses to well, your play style. And as you can see, choosing adept gives bonuses to duration and damage of your biotics. The more you invest in those skills, the higher level profiles you can unlock. Or maybe you want to be more versatile, choosing some combat mixed with biotic and tech skills. This will unlock the explorer I think that's profile, a new one. Perks yeah, and buffs like for this game. Explorer. And of course, you can swap these profiles at any time, allowing you to keep the action fresh, giving you a number of ways to tackle every battle. Yeah, see. And making sure you never feel locked in. Yeah, that's really awesome. Style of play. You can do it like, in the middle of a battle. This brings so this, us to favorites. With this favorite system. Favorites are a quick way I to feel match like three always changing though. <laughs> to one slot. Any time during combat, you can switch between one of these four slots, giving you access to up to 12 of your favorite skills during the course of a single fight. Here's an example. In this battle, I've equipped a favorite loadout designed for long-range combat, utilizing cloak and a sniper rifle to suppress oncoming enemies. The sniper alone isn't enough, so I'll deploy an assault turret and toss some grenades before switching to my second favorite loadout. It's designed for close quarters combat. Loading these new abilities puts them in a cooldown by default, so I'll have to make do with my shotgun until they're There's definitely ready. a lot going on. That That's, like, have. very... But it's awesome that you powerful, can do that. I'm not in any position to take it out immediately. I don't know if, if I'll really I had do much of that. Yeah, I was going to say, if I had I'll a giant and then thing like that coming after me, I don't think I'd be like, oh, I need to make sure I can switch to this weapon now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's this definitely a lot of strategy that you can do. Yeah. So I'll engage by comboing cryo beam and lance but for an explosive. Sometimes I, I feel like I feel like I'd probably just have the one gun and be like, "All right, I just gotta get them all." Right, this one right. gun, I forgot, or it forget, like forget that I can even switch them. I'll do what I can from a distance before switching. Yeah, it's to like, my do you think that gun's really gonna do anything? One that emphasizes ranged biotic abilities such as backlash and shockwave, as well as flamethrower. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a better Did vantage they... point and stall the fiend's approach. See that jump jet thing? Using backlash, awesome. I can shield myself from oncoming fire and deflect it back at the enemy. This is particularly useful against large crowds of enemies. However, this horde is scattered, so I'll need to regroup. Looks like oh, he's like plan. right behind you. <laughs> I'll stand my ground by using shockwave and then follow that up with flamethrower. Yeah, there you go. That's working. Fiend nice. is hurt, but it's going to take more than that to defeat it. Switching to my final favorite loadout, I'll engage the fiend with soldier-focused abilities. Let's finish it off with flat cannon and trip mines. 
There you go. Nice. And it comes theme. to combat. Yeah, so Don't here's your, your squad, squad mates. Drat. Each of your six squad mates has three active and two passive mm-hmm. skills. In this case, Cora uses her biotics as a support character. And Drac is a bruiser who can soak up lots of damage. It's great humans and Krogans. Not only can you set your squad up around the battlefield, so ordering them to defend locations, again. attack oh, yeah. targets, or rally to your them side, to go to certain you can places. also team up with them for devastating power combos. It sounds like they're going to be a lot more helpful, helpful though, than they were yeah. in the other games. Yeah. Sometimes they just stand there. Like, if you're in trouble, they'll them. actually help you out. That's then your squad mate jumps in to detonate some AI. Like, stuff like that, yeah. And you can always level up your squad mates to make them specifically It's like, really, we should be in a day and age when the target. AI is like, you know, <laughs> like a normal regular the person playing. <laughs> yeah. Look at exploration in Mass Effect Andromeda. Alright, so that's it. So, what'd you think of that, Derek, with the all the skills that and the one, profiles? That one, almost a little overwhelming. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> really. You know, I remember watching, or whenever I first started playing Mass Effect 1, I was pretty overwhelmed by yeah. all the different things you can I do. I know, I definitely <laughs> was. It took me... So I think I borrowed the game from you, maybe, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you and borrowed one me, and two from me, It I took think. me a long time to complete the first... Well, once I really got into it, like, it took me a long time just to, you know, get through, like, the first mission. Yeah. And then once I got, you know, kind of through the first mission, I was able to get through it. But this is, like... I, it would it'd probably be it's overwhelming at first. I don't even know how, I'm to, sure it will. how to tackle the game. But the funny thing about that is, as overwhelming as it is, like, once we progressed through the trilogy, like, got into Mass Effect 2 mm-hmm. and 3... Once you didn't have all those things, I missed it. Yeah, I did I missed too. having the option, the it's ability like, to do all that. All I stuff. have is an assault rifle, and I'm I'm gonna die now because yeah. I don't have the ability to change anything. <laughs> but see, what I think is neat about this, I always played. I played through the trilogy as the soldier profile, mm-hmm. so I never did any of the biotics or any of the tech stuff. I, I think I did the last one. I think I well the first one at least I did you know, two different profiles. I'm pretty sure it'd been a long time since I played that one. Well, but. you know, there was like I think there's six different. Uh, profiles on there. There's like the soldier, the biotic, and the tech, mm. and then there's the other three: the adept, engineer, and vanguard. Which was like each one was like a combination of like soldier and biotic, or biotic and tech, or soldier oh, and yeah, tech. Yeah. And uh, I I never did any of that. I just did straight soldier. And so the the thing that sucked about that was whenever I first started Mass Effect One, and it, it makes you choose that thing right at the gate, like before yeah. the game starts. When you're like naming your character, and you, you don't say, even know what you're doing. Yeah, like is. I'm like I don't even know what biotics are. I don't know yeah. what this what the tech stuff is in the game. So that's why I just went with soldier. But then it, as the game went on, and I saw other people do biotics. I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. I kind of wish it, I could have done that. It would have been nice to like have a, a startup mission where you can see like kind of example of what everything mm-hmm. is. Like play you play for like a, a couple minutes in one, a couple minutes in the other, rather than just being like, well, you have to pick this, and that's all you can be for the rest of the game. Right. But otherwise, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, that's why I like this because now. I'll actually finally be because I'll probably still gear myself mainly towards the soldier type mm-hmm. thing, but now I'll actually be able to try out the biotic yeah. and the tech. It's kind of like in Elder Scrolls games. I know this isn't about Elder Scrolls, but you know most people don't pick the magic related stuff because they pick the, you know, a warrior kind of kind of thing, which is yeah. what I always do in games too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. All right. So uh, that's it for this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll do a reaction for the next one. And, uh, yeah, like this video and leave us any comments down below of what you think of this or what you think of how Mass Effect Andromeda is going to be mm-hmm. and if you're excited about it. We've only got, as of the recording of this, we've got, uh, what, like 16 what days to go. Yeah, six, 16, good yeah. grief. It's not very much longer. <laughs> no. Guys. All right, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.